What is GC? I mean, when you sort of peel back all, all the layers, chromatography, or GC, is a separation tool. And what it does, first and foremost, is it separates complex mixtures into pure components. So anytime we have a mixture, we ask the question, is there a chemical in this mixture? So example would be coffee. Uh, you have a cup of coffee sitting there, and if we ask the question, is there caffeine in the coffee? Well, ca well coffee has hundreds of different chemicals in it. In fact, there's a beautiful uh, uh, report done by the Coca-Cola company, and they were uh, studying the, the psychology of taste. How do we know something tastes good? And they, um, uh, they studied the headspace of coffee, and they found 450 different chemicals in the headspace, in the aroma of coffee. Now, these are natural chemicals, natural extract. And of these 450 chemicals, one of them is caffeine. So if you ask the question, is there caffeine in my coffee? Step one, you gotta separate caffeine from 449 different chemicals. Step two is to identify the caffeine peak. Let's say we wanna do quantitation. We ask the question, how much caffeine is in the coffee? So how do we do that? Step one, we separate caffeine from 449 chemicals. Step two, we measure the size of the peak. What if we wanted to isolate caffeine from coffee? Sounds like a weird concept, but we do that in liquid chromatography a lot. We use this as a purification tool. If I wanted to isolate caffeine from coffee, step one, separate caffeine from 449 compounds. Step two, collect the peak. So you get the idea that step one is always to separate. So the underlying technology, how GC really works is it separates things. And once we separate, we could identify, we could quantify, we could purify, but first we have to separate. So I'd say the theme of this class and the theme of chromatography is separation. Um, so we're gonna talk a lot about how that separation works and more importantly, how you can make it work better.